What's up, y'all? I'm here trying out Anti-Gravity's brand new drone. They make a lot of bold claims about this thing, including that it's easy to fly even if you've never flown an FPV drone before, which I definitely have not. So we're gonna be putting that to the test today. Let's get into it. Anti-Gravity is a new company that was incubated with Insta360, and now they're breaking off and they're their own thing. The company is billing this as the world's first 360 degree drone. It comes with this headset, this drone, and a controller. This headset is powered by a battery that you hold around your neck. Anti-Gravity says its A1 drone allows users to get FPV style shots even while flying in a straight line by reframing the 360 degree shots in their special editing software. Insta360 users might be familiar with a workflow like this and some of the creative possibilities it opens up. It's very trippy looking around, especially when you're high in the air. You know, there's a little bit of like almost a vertigo feeling and a little bit of like motion queasiness after using it for a while. But that might change as you get more accustomed to it. Maybe, you know, adjust the settings to your liking, things like that. It was very intuitive pointing, but I noticed I was kind of dipping a lot as I was flying because of, you know, video gaming, whatever conditioned me to just hold the controllers further down. But when you hold it out, you can really kind of um, point and fly just by moving your body, which is really an interesting and unique and intuitive way to control. Also different from other controllers, like for example, when I test driven some robots before, those were very video game-like controls. This is more like maybe Nintendo Wii style. You're using your body positioning versus just a controller. There's also built-in obstacle avoidance and return to home features. What's that beeping sound? Yeah. Oh, that's the obstacle avoidance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, excellent. Okay, so it sees that I'm getting near this pole here and it's warning me, hey dude, stop. To prevent the drones from being used for any nefarious purposes, there is a payload detection feature, which I got a demo of. They put some weights onto the top of the drone and try to fly it upward. And as you can see, the drone detects the weight, stops itself from ascending and comes back down to earth. When the drone detects that the ground is coming up, a couple small landing gear legs drop down to protect the camera lenses. As a new company, they say they're very interested in user feedback and some of these new developments were actually the result of user feedback. So is Anti-Gravity's A1 drone as easy to fly as they say? Well, despite never having flown an FPV drone before, I didn't crash it thanks to built-in crash prevention features. I successfully captured some aerial footage and in my relatively brief test drive, I found the full body control interesting and pretty intuitive to pick up. I did get a little motion sickness near the end and I definitely have some practicing to do, but not crashing and capturing video are the most essential things I'd want to do with a drone and I was able to accomplish that my first time flying it. Anti-Gravity's A1 drone is set to hit the global market in January of 2026. Now, they don't know exactly where it'll be available yet, and they don't have a set price. Because it comes with the drone, the headset, and the controller, they say you can expect to pay a premium price, at least at this stage of the company. What do you think about Anti-Gravity's new drone? Let us know down in the comments. 